Hello Craftastic Friends! Friends, and welcome to a new beauty video. I'm your crafty friend Alex and I'm super happy to share these crafts with you. We're going to use all of these amazing materials to create the latest most halves of the makeup world for our very own Barbie. We'll make everything she needs for a perfect makeup look. So if you love the beauty world as much as Barbie and I do, watch this video until the end to see the final result. For our very first craft, we're going to need an empty peel packaging, black foam, sparkly silver foam, glitter on your fave color, reflective paper, your favorite nail polish shade, white foam, glittery pink foam, some paper clips, and jet black acrylic paint. Let's make a pair of fake eyelashes for a mysterious look. Grab the pill packaging and cut around the shape of the pill. Remember to be extra careful while cutting out two of these. Now, grab your nail polish and paint the outside of your new container. Remember, you can use your favorite color. I chose this pretty coral. Give a quick coat of glue to the containers and dip them on some glitter. This will give it a super cute look. You can use tweezers to make it easier. While that dries, I'm going to use another piece and a pencil to trace the shape on a sheet of white foam. Just like this. Then grab some scissors and carefully cut around the guideline we just made. Try and make it as perfect as you can. And just like we did with the white foam, I'm going to use a spare piece to draw the shape on a piece of silver reflective paper. Then simply cut it out using scissors. Try not to scratch the reflective surface and remember to always be careful. Now we need a thin strip. Let's cut it out from a beautiful sparkly pink foam. Just like I'm doing here. And glue it to the back of the two plastic pieces covered in glitter so they can close and open freely. Time to make the eyelashes! Grab some black foam and carefully cut out a strip with a pair of scissors just like me. Now start making little cuts along the strip, making sure you don't go all the way through and that your fingers aren't in the way. To make the band of the eyelashes, grab a couple of paper clips and paint the rounded end with jet black acrylic paint. Once the paint has dried, put some glue on the paper clips and little by little start attaching the foam eyelashes. Hold until dry. Make sure the glue is dry and the lashes are fully attached. Then grab some pliers and cut the rest of the paper clip off. Ask a grown up for help. To make sure our little lashes fit in our super fabulous container, grab some scissors and cut the excess foam to size. Let's finish the container so we can put the eyelashes in. Put some clear glue on the top container and stick the reflective paper inside. This will be the mirror. And some more glue on the bottom part and stick inside the white foam piece. This will be the base of the eyelashes. Finally, put two dots of clear glue on the white base and carefully align the eyelashes inside. Just like I'm doing here. And here we have the trendiest eyelashes. They come with a sparkle case and even a mirror. Barbie has the best accessories ever! For our next incredible craft, we need some black hair dry clay, some more colorful clays, toothpicks, and clear nail polish. Time to create some nail polish bottles for Barbie! We're going to grab different shades of her dry clay and slowly sculpt them into shape. And with some black hair dry clay, roll smaller worms. These will become the cups of the polish. Make as many as the bottles. Now, before the clay fully dries, stick both parts on a wooden toothpick. First goes the bottle shape and then the black cap. And once the clay has fully dried, use the clear nail polish to completely coat the bottles and give them a beautiful shine. And you have the cutest, tiniest nail polish bottles ever! Perfect for Barbie's hands! Let's move right along! We will need more colorful Elric clay and some silver sparkly paint. What about some amazing lipstick? 
First, grab some Mercury Clay in your favorite lip shade, like this pretty coral, and roll it into a tube. Now, use some jet black clay and slowly flatten it with your fingers on a piece of waxy paper. To make clean edges, grab a knife and cut a little rectangle to cover the body of the lipstick. Be super careful not to cut yourself. And with the use of the waxy paper, roll the black clay around the coral clay. When the two ends meet, push them together just like this. Cut the excess and allow the clay to dry. Then, use the silver sparkle paint to create the inner tube of the lipstick. Look at these super cute lipsticks! They look so real and beautiful! I just love the shades we made! I'm sure Barbie will want even more! For our next craft, we're going to need a sheet of baby blue foam, a sheet of sparkly red foam, wooden beads, acrylic paints, golden sparkly paint, and a handful of toothpicks. Using something with an oval shape like this nail polish bottle, we're going to mark it down using a toothpick on a piece of baby blue foam. Once the guide is done, use the same toothpick to create a pattern on the foam. Try and copy the one I'm making here. Now grab as many toothpicks as the number of dots you created and paint all the ends with the jet black acrylic paint. Now glue a long wooden bead around the middle of the toothpick and start painting it with your favorite color. I'm using a sky blue to match. While the bead dries, we can start sticking the black toothpicks through the dots on the foam. Simply follow the pattern you did before. Once you're done, simply cut out the ends that stick out on the other side of the foam. Since the toothpicks are a bit hard, don't be afraid to ask for help. And using the same scissors, cut the oval shape we marked down on the foam. Be careful not to hurt yourself with the toothpicks. To make sure the toothpicks don't slip through the back, add some clear glue on red sparkly foam and attach the piece you just cut. Make sure the glue has fully dry and the two pieces are fully attached before cutting the piece off again. Use scissors and be careful. Now we have everything we need to start attaching it. Stick the toothpick with the wooden bead from earlier on one of the ends of the oval piece. And to give it an extra special look, use the sparkly metallic golden paint to add a trim around the head of the brush. We made a fantastic hairbrush! It's just perfect for Barbie's size and beautiful long hair! Now we can make sure her hair is always tangle free and looking fabulous! For our next trendy craft, we're going to need some sparkly golden foam, some stiff cardboard, poofy paint, and silver reflective paper. Barbie needs a glamorous mirror so she can get ready every day. So grab anything round that you have on hand, like a glitter container, and mark it down on some board. Once you have your guidelines down, grab a pair of scissors and very carefully cut the circle around. If the cardboard is too hard, ask for help. We're going to use the same container and pen to mark down another three circles on a piece of sparkly golden foam. And as we did before, grab a pair of scissors and cut out the circles. Make sure your fingers aren't in the way and try to cut them perfectly. For our next pieces, we need to cut a thin strip of 7 cm long of a sparkly golden foam. If you want, you can use a pen and ruler to make it perfect. Now add clear glue to one of the golden foam circles and attach the cardboard circle inside. And then attach the strip we just cut around just like I'm doing here. Once you have it out, add clear glue on the side without glitter, so we can roll it inwards to create a little stick or tube. Once the pieces are fully dried, we can attach them together. Put glue right on the middle of the base so you can glue the stem we just made. For the mirror part, we're going to need a circle of the silver reflective paper. Make sure you use a smaller stencil. Now carefully cut it out using scissors. Make it as perfect as you can. To make the base where the mirror goes, we're going to glue together the other two golden foam circles, just like this. Then simply add clear glue to one of them and stick the reflective circle to it. Make sure it's well centered. 
Once you glue the mirror part to the base, use puffy paint to create a super detailed finish on the amazing mirror. Our next craft needs lots of color for foam and silver reflective paper. First, grab some black foam and mark down a little piece of 4 by 2.5 centimeters. Make sure you use a ruler and a pen to make it perfect. Now, cut it out very carefully with a pair of scissors. With different color foam, we're going to create the different pans of eyeshadow. Grab a whole puncher and get lots of circles with different colors. Using the same hole puncher, make eight holes on the black rectangle we cut earlier. Make sure they are all aligned and super organized. Then, choose your favorite color chats and stick them in the holes left behind on the black foam piece. It's taking form, guys! Grab your super cute eyeshadows and put them on a piece of foam so we can mark it down. Use a color you really like. This will be the packaging. Now, grab some scissors and cut around the guidelines you did. Be very careful not to cut yourself. Now that you have your foam and scissors on hand, cut out a thin strip of approximately 10 centimeters. Using clear glue, we're going to attach the strip around the base. I chose this amazing light blue sparkling foam. Make sure you cut out a little rectangle of the same color of foam you use for the packaging. This will help us close and open the shadow palette. Time to assemble everything! Put some glue on one of the pieces and stick the shadows inside. Then put some more on the other piece and attach the mirror. And to make sure it stays together, close the two parts of the palette and glue the small strip we cut earlier. Just like this! Here it is, the hottest eyeshadow palette of the moment. Barbie will never stay behind and she'll rock all these amazing shades for sure. For the eyeshadow, we need brushes. Let's use an old brush, a couple of Q-tips, decorative tape, and some air day clay. I have this old brush. The results are worn, so we're going to repurpose it. Grab a couple of hairs and cut them off with scissors. To make sure they stay together, put enough clear glue in one of the ends and hold it together until it dries. Now we need to make the handle of the brush. We're going to make them out of Q-tips. Cut off one of the ends. And then add a bit of glue to stick the brush bristles. Try and push it in to make sure it's well secured. Once the glue has dried, cut off the excess hair. So it's the perfect size for Barbie's face. We need to make sure these are the most luxurious brushes for Barbie. So grab your decorative tape and wrap it around the handle. Then simply grab some scissors and cut off the excess so it's a perfect fit. Finally, we're going to make a super nice holder for our brush. Simply add a piece of electric clay and shape it just like this. For our final craft, we're going to use a plastic peel container, acrylic paint, powder foundation, a makeup sponge, and some reflective paper. First step is going to be paint. Use a brush and jet black acrylic paint and give a good coat to the underside of the peel packaging. Now we need to cut down the makeup sponge to make sure it fits in Barbie's brand new foundation. Be very careful on this step. To make a mirror for this teeny tiny makeup essential, we are going to use a silver reflective paper to draw a circle small enough to fit. Now cut it out with scissors. Since the circle is so small, ask a grown-up for help. In one of the peel containers, drop some clear glue and stick the mirror inside facing up. On the other side, we poured and compacted some powder foundation. And now we simply need to connect them together with tape. Look at it! It's super tiny and cute! The best part is actually makeup! My hands are too big for this, but I'm sure Barbie will love it! Hey, fantastic friends! We're all done for 
for today. We made so many incredible crafts, I didn't want to stop. I just love makeup that much. We made a fantastic eyeshadow palette, some wispy eyelashes, a cute hairbrush, trendy nail polish, beautiful lipsticks, a real powder foundation, and a mirror so Barbie can use it all. Did you guys like them? I love them! Comment down below your favorite one! Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more craftastic videos! Remember to give us a like and I will love you so so much! Bye!